An 80-year-old man goes in for a physical, and the doctor tells him, You're in terrific health. You're healthier than most 40-year-olds. What do you contribute your exceptional health to? And the man replies, Turkey hunting. Every morning I walk in the mountains and go turkey hunting. Well, maybe genetics has something to do with it, says the doctor. How old was your father before he died? Who said my father was dead? You're 80 years old and your father is still alive. The doctor says in disbelief. Yep, replied the man. He is 100 years old and went turkey hunting with me this morning. That's amazing, exclaims the doctor. But then how old was your grandpa when he passed? Who said my grandpa was dead? The doctor is shocked and asks. Your grandpa is still alive. Yep, he's 120, but he couldn't join us this morning. He had to get ready for his wedding. Puzzled, the doctor asks. Why would a 120-year-old man want to get married? And the man responds. Who said he wanted to get married? <laughs> An old man ordered one hamburger, french fries, and a drink. He unwrapped the plain hamburger and carefully cut it in half, placing one half in front of his wife. He then carefully counted out the french fries, dividing them into two piles, and neatly placed one pile in front of his wife. He took a sip of the drink, his wife took a sip, and then set the cup down between them. As he began to eat his few bites of hamburger, the people around them were looking over and whispering. They thought, that poor old couple, all they can afford is one meal for the two of them. As the man began to eat his fries, a young man came to the table and politely offered to buy another meal for the old couple. The old man said, they were just fine. They were used to sharing everything. People closer to the table noticed the little old lady hadn't eaten a bite. She sat there watching her husband eat and occasionally taking turns sipping the drink. Again, the young man came over and begged them to let him buy another meal for them. This time the old woman said, No, thank you. We are used to sharing everything. Finally, as the old man finished and was wiping his face neatly with a napkin, the young man again came over to the little old lady, who had yet to eat a single bite of food, and asked, What is it you are waiting for? She answered, the teeth. 